And we've got more good news. Okay. Miracles abound. And this is a miracle. We've waited so long for this day. I have anyway. I don't know about everybody else. Anticipated it for years. Because I've sat in this chair. Literally. This chair. <laughs> um, as, as we sat through three years of the frantic search for the Russian bribery money. By God. We knew Trump had it, right? We knew, we knew he did. I want to remind you what that was like. Day after day. Week after week. Yeah. Because we knew that Trump was owned by Russia. After all, the heads of the FBI and the CIA told us, so it must be true. I'll never forget Rachel Maddow assuring us that when we got Trump's tax returns, then, then we would see it. We would find the Russian bribery money. Nothing has ever been so searched for in America, I don't think. True. All right, maybe the Lindbergh baby. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. There is Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, him too, right? Um, And the Geraldo Vault. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah. aside from that, though, we knew, we knew it was reported as fact by the mainstream media that Trump had taken the Russian bribery money and they would find it. By God, they would find it. And so $30 million, a team of FBI agents and many federal prosecutors who just happened to donate to Hillary dedicated their efforts heroically and valiantly to finding the Russian money because we all knew Trump was owned, even though there was no evidence. But we would get the evidence, by God. And so for years, liberal trolls and people on Twitter who are from the left would mock me and others about how Trump was owned. He had taken the Russian money. And then you would ask him how much. How much? Give me a number. They couldn't because they'd never found it. But by God, we looked. And so the FBI and the DOJ used their subpoena power to subpoena more than a million individual financial and other documents from Donald J. Trump at an expense to you again of $30 million because by God, they were going to get the Russian bri bribery money, Lee. It became a universal truth. You know, in science in school, we learned about yeah. universal truths, things so scientifically sound, they could never be questioned that Donald Trump had taken the money. A million documents later, he had to turn them over. I can't even imagine what it cost him. We never did get the money for the, the, the Trump's bill for those that legal inquisition by the Mueller team. They were forced to admit in a report I read every word of. They hadn't found a dime, not even a penny. But Rachel Maddow and MSNBC, Lee, they were undeterred. The money must have been, the bribery money from Russia must have been exchanged in the 90s. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. When, when Trump was doing condo deals in New York. Okay, in the 90s, if you're doing a condo deal, it is impossible not to have Russians as part of your condo deal because they were heavily invested in New York real estate. They had to launder their money, right? So they needed to do, so that's what they were doing. The Russians must have known in the 90s that Trump would run, and that's when they paid him the bribery money, and we would find it. They never did, though. They never did. They never did. But then, yesterday, finally, we found the bribery money, Lee. Amazing. We found it. After all these years, I'm so excited. I can I tell. I'm so excited. <laughs> and where... Did we find the bribery, the Russian bribery money? Lee, the Bidens had it the whole time. That's why they couldn't. That's it. Yeah. That's why they couldn't. I guess find Trump asked it. them to hold it for him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Stop. Somebody call Rachel Maddow. <laughs> Somebody call Rachel Maddow. Somebody used to tell her that because you know what? Her sheep will probably believe it. Yeah. The Bidens are holding the Russian bribery money for Trump. Yeah. I'm sure that's why. Yeah. So Mueller and the DOJ and the FBI subpoena over a million documents from Trump looking for it. Don't find a dime. The Biden family had it the whole time. How do we know? The Devin Archer transcript. Mm -hmm. The Devin Archer is Hunter Biden's best friend. Well, he was. I don't know anymore. Yeah. Um, and they've been together since, you know, his friend since college. And Devin Archer's like, yeah, so, um, yeah, Biden, Joe, not Hunter. Joe Biden met personally, at Cafe Milano, with the Russian oligarch Baterina. Hmm. One of the highest-ranking Russian oligarchs. Very, very powerful. 
And then what happened? Oh, the um the, the transfer of the $40 million to Rosemont Seneca. Right, yeah. hmm. Oh, and just to make sure he was comfortable and had enough hookers and and, and blow to keep him happy, she transferred that other $3.5 million. By the way, I'm sorry. They got the Russian money? They did. <laughs> 